Hi guys, welcome to How To With Yet Another Video. In this video, I'll show you how to access your Android smartphone screen on your PC. Sometimes, you know, you may be working on a PC and you may want to have an access to your Android smartphone sp screen so that you can easily control your phone from your PC, all right? So in this video, I'll show you how to do that without uh, even rooting your device. So first thing first, what you needed to do is just go to Chrome, go to Chrome App Store, then search for uh, wiser and here this is the application so then add this extension to your chrome and last your permission click add extension and it'll install once you have it installed then you can see this icon just click that and it'll take you to the download page of the wiser so once you are on the page you have uh, this option to download click download and it'll take you to the download page and you have four options here windows mac then linux and chrome os so in this case windows so i have it already downloaded so here i'm going to install that so once you have it downloaded then go to the folder and double click and click run and it'll start setting up the application on your pc It'll take a few seconds so and here it has been uh, set up and this is the application uh, once you have installed it for windows users you need to install this adb drivers so click that and you can actually download that driver from here so i already have it so in this case this is a driver universal adb driver setup just double click and click run it will ask your permission to install then choose the folder that you want to install and if it is for everyone or just for you then choose that one as well if you want or leave it uh, default just click next and click next and start installing and ask your permission click yes and it will install the drivers then click close so you are almost ready to have access to your android device via pc so in this case uh, however you need to uh, turn on some settings on your android device as well then only this application uh, will have access to your device the first thing you need to do is first you need to turn on developer mode developer option your android device then turn on usb debugging okay so i'll show you how to do that so I'm going to use a Samsung Galaxy A3 uh, for this tutorial. So I'm going to connect my Android device uh, to PC using a USB cable. So I have connected. So the application still doesn't have access to my Android device. So I'm first going to turn on the USB debugging mode. So just go to your Android settings. I'm going to Android settings and I already have turned it on. So I'll show you how to turn on developer options to have access to this USB debugging mode and other options. So I'm going to turn on anyway USB debugging. So here uh, I'm going to turn on just click OK. So now the application have access then it will automatically load the screen on your PC. So here you can see that now I have access uh, to my smartphone screen and use this is what you need to turn on but uh, if you haven't uh, yet enabled this uh, developer mode, you won't have access to this option. So, so this is the developer option. This is where you enable this USB debugging. But however, before you have access to this option, you need to go to about device, then scroll all the way down, and you have you see this build number. Just tap this seven times and here you can see that no need to develop mode has already been enabled so if you don't see if you don't have your develop mode enabled you need to tap this for seven times and it will actually enable this option here once you have it enabled go to developer option then click usb debugging now now i have turned it off so i need to turn it on again usb debugging on my phone so click ok then you have access that easy it is see that so there is also a, a pro version of this application it has some extra features 
like full screen mode always on top you can use some software settings and resolution kind of things and also density so those features are only available for its pro version so if you're using a free version it will often show you some ads but however you can simply close that that's it so once you have it you have complete access to your android device from your computer you can even use your computer keyboard to type and you can use your mouse to control your device you don't even need to touch your phone once you have it uh, hooked up to your pc that's it so that's how you do that and if you want to toggle the screen on and off you just click here that's it and if you want to rotate the screen you can use here you can also turn on camera and you can adjust the volume here so you can see that you have the access to the volume so that's it and you also have easy access to its home screen and tabs you know recent task you have this and home screen and this is a back button so you can do almost everything that's how you do that i hope this helps please subscribe to my channel for more videos tips and tricks like this and thank you for watching